Listen to that voice. And you may say, Kevin, what do you mean by voice? Particular thoughts that comes to your mind. Let me explain. Sometimes Let me say it in this way. Something happened. And um, while I was speaking to a person, I was saying particular things. It was not a voice, but some thoughts were coming to my mind. You know, I may forget exactly how the thoughts were, but something like, you should not say that. And pretty much, this is what you should do. Now, am I telling you, I listened to those thoughts perfectly? At first, I probably did not. But after a while, if I remember correctly, I started to listen to those thoughts. As if, now, I believe I can say those thoughts, I don't believe those thoughts were of my own because I don't think I would have thought of saying this or not saying that and stuff like that. Not, at least not at that time. And I believe this happens to many of us. You may go through trouble, you may go through a problem Or you may, hmm, how should I say this? You may get into a problem. Let's say you are dealing with a problem now. Listen to that voice. If that voice, or should I say thoughts, if those thoughts are lining up with the Bible and It is not bad to do for that circumstance that you are in. More than likely, it is probably best for you to do it or best for you, depending on what is going on in that problem. If that voice is telling you to not say anything, then you should probably not say anything. If that voice is leading you to say something, you probably should say something, but you have to judge it based upon the circumstances and based upon the word of God too. Because sometimes we may not know the best thing to do or the best thing to say or if it is best to not do anything or not say anything. But if you listen to that voice, I believe it can lead you down the right path. But at the same time, I believe demons can place thoughts into our mind too. So if thoughts comes to your mind, judge it. If something comes to your mind and tells you to, if some thoughts comes to your mind and tell you to cuss someone out, then you know that is of the devil. If someone, if something comes to your mind, if some thoughts comes to your mind and tell you to, hey, uh, check on Susie just naming some random names. Check on Susie. Check on Paul. Check on uh, 
Ricky, you know, see what is going on with them. That may be the best thing. So I really hope this makes sense. Haven't you received like strange random thoughts, strange meaning as if those thoughts came out of nowhere? Have you ever received that before? I know I have so many times. Thoughts, I believe, that did not come from me. So listen to that voice. Not only listen to that voice, but judge it first. I believe this is probably one of the most important things I can say for this message. Judge it. If a train of thoughts comes to your mind, judge it. Is it bringing strife? Is it bringing envy? Is it bringing hatred? Is it bringing something like that? If it will, you probably should not do it. Judge the circumstance. Judge the thoughts. Because I believe um, you may be led to say something and it may make some people mad and that probably would not be entirely bad if you understand what I am saying to you. So if, if saying something or doing something, I think this is a better way to say it. If saying something or doing something is going to cause you to sin, then you probably should not listen to that voice. If saying something or doing something lines up with the Bible, then, <laughs> then you probably should do it. For instance, uh, a long time ago, I used to give out three Bibles. And um, I would give out other things as well. And... I may not have everything exact, but I went to a person to give, I went somewhere to give someone something. And if I remember correctly, I'm not sure if it was before it or after it. Whenever it came, I believe I received thoughts to also give that person a Bible. And um, I gave that person, I believe I gave that person something and I gave that person a Bible. And if I remember correctly, I believe that man was like, like, I believe he paused for a little while and asked me, how did you know I needed a Bible? As if, I don't know if he said that he prayed about it or like he really wanted one. Like as if, like he was saying it to a point, I guess I can say, as if I knew it. As if like I knew or as if I could read his mind or something like that, which I can't read his mind. This is what I am telling you. Listen to that voice. I believe there are other times, um, you know, I am kind of introverted, which it may not seem that way because of these YouTube videos. But anyways, um, I was at a church and um, I usually don't do it too often, but I gave my testimony and I said something that really touched I believe it was I believe it was one main person 
where it really touched their heart. And I was told that I think beforehand that person expressed their feelings pertaining to something and when I and when I spoke on that day I believe it was something pertaining to what she expressed which I did not know I did not know I believe I felt led to say what I said I believe it was the end part that may have touched that individual listen to that voice I believe our thoughts I believe I don't know to what degree but I believe many of our thoughts did not initiate from us I believe a lot of our thoughts are coming from another source so if something wants you to say something or do something judge it are these words are these actions a sin if the answer is no judge the circumstance line it up with the word of god to see if it connects. If it does, then you probably should do it. You may not know the effect that it will bring. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it does not matter. You should probably do it. You know, with me, believe it or not, I am a somewhat shy guy, but I have been working through it. I believe I were more so shy some time ago, but um, I guess I am becoming less introverted, I guess. <laughs> Imagine that. But um, follow those thoughts. At the same time, let me say this. There are times when I have a lot of unwanted, wicked thoughts. That is probably the best way to say it. And we have to be very careful. Some bad, wicked thoughts may try to motivate you to do them, but you should not. But listen to that good voice. And as I say voice, you should know what I mean. I mean thoughts. Listen to that good voice. I believe so much of the time when that good voice comes to me, like either when it comes to me or when I consider to do it, I believe it brings peace to me. Oh man, let me say that again. I believe much of the time when that good voice comes to me, either when it comes to me or if I consider to do it, I believe it brings peace to me. I think that is one of the ways that uh, you may be able to tell that you should do whatever that voice is telling you to do. I hope this is making sense. It doesn't matter if you, like I said, make sure it lines up with the word of God. Make sure that voice is not telling you to do a sin or say something sinful. So if it lines up with the word of God, it doesn't matter if you don't know what is going to happen next. It doesn't matter. Just do it if you know for sure it is okay. 
depending on the circumstance and probably some other things as well. I hope this makes sense. God bless us.